Today's game comes to you from Gone Guy Games. Now that we have a release date for Covert Missions, pre-orders are now officially open. As always, don't forget code COMMANDO10 at checkout for more extra savings combined with their free shipping on 25 or more for significant total savings. This year, for the first time, introducing the Gone Guy set, a traditional Saga style set, at 325 with the COMMANDO10 discount puts it below many competitors' pricing. Be sure to check them out at gongai.com. Hello everyone, welcome back to Dice Commando for round three of today's Saturday Standard event here at Gongai Games. On the left we have Andrew, who we've seen on the table the whole day. And on our right we have Mike, he's playing Snoke Troopers. He is on Theed. Andrew, of course, is on Obi's Hut. Mike wins the roll-off and will likely take the shields to keep Andrew off of them. He can't lose his Mud Trooper round one. Yep, so Andrew is going to be playing on the Hut. Mike takes the two shields. One on the Mud Trooper, one on the Commando. Yep, that also gives him some snoking power. And uh, Andrew will get us started here. All right, Kylo coming in, looking for specials. Does not hit, but does get one melee. All right, there's a Counter Intelligence. All right, we see a Steadfast, Dark Council, Forsaken, Pacify. Oh, that's a good hand. All right, so Mike already knows how this round's going to go down. Does he control? He does. He's going to control. Puts Forsaken back on top. But now he knows that Andrew has the Steadfast and is going to be playing for the two points of damage. Yep, there's the Ray power action. Go to the special. Right, Mike's action here. All right, energy bow for one. Mud Trooper's going to take two here. Yep. Takes the one. Gets a reroll. Into damage. Not bad. Looks like Mud Trooper's coming in. It's a one. All right, so I remember that can become a three with Snoke for a one damage exchange. Dark Council for one. Commando coming in, also with one damage. Actually, that's likely the Snoke target now. All right, here comes Ray. Now, Mike knows Andrew won't control here because he wants the uh, Steadfast. Andrew also won't pitch to reroll. So Mike pretty much can do whatever he wants to do this round. All right, and they use the Mud Trooper to reroll the die after the leader comes in. Two focus, not bad. And then that, of course, is the Energy Bow after character die rerolled. All right, three into the Mud Trooper. Yep, Andrew continues to pass. It's just this, I mean, again, both these, because of the counter intel, both these guys know what's going on, but I don't think there's anything Mike can do about it other than not do damage, right? Which isn't great. So he's resolving the two focus, he'll go to the two, and does he go to Snoke, or does he go to the Commando? Looks like he's going to go to the two gun on the Commando. Alright, Andrew passes again. Mike's just taking his time here, so he knows he has it. All right, there's a power action for one into Mike's still deciding who's going to take it on the go to Ray. Continue to pass. 
We see a Desperate Measures in Mike's hand. It's not going to do him a ton of good. R2-D2 does get played in this deck, but... All right, so he's committed to Ray here. I mean, what's he going to do? Not do it? He's going to be able to put up a ton of damage here. Take the resource. Yep, no reason not to get your actions out. Still Mike here. Alright, so there's a Snoke Power action. He'll deal one to the Mando to put four into Ray. Andrew will steadfast two of them over. Into the Mud Trooper, of course. Or I would assume. Yep, there we go. Alright, there's four more into Ray. Oh yeah, three, sorry. Alright, there's a discard to re-roll. More damage. Ooh, gets a focus. Alright, so Michael Claim. So he's going to lose his Mud Trooper. Oh, he's not, because he's going to pay one for the shield. Alright, then Andrew will focus to the two, put in two. Alright, so a Polarity or some sort of high Polarity or another Steadfast, and it's a dead Mud Trooper. But then there's still a lot of health to chew through. Alright, but Mike will get us started here. Mud Trooper coming out, I'm sure. Oh, he's got a probe. That's a bad opener, though. Or it feels bad as an opener because your chances are lower, but. Oh, he's got another counter intel. Alright, Dark Council, Ezra's Forsaken Steadfast Polarity. Yep, that's a dead Mud Trooper. All right, puts polarity back, but steadfast, yep. Move one off Ray, dead Mud Trooper. All right, yeah, he's looking again, so. It is Mike's action here. All right, we see Conscript come down for once. Remember, that'll roll in with Snoke as a leader. All right, Andrew overwrites for the Ezra Saber. Paying one. That does have redeploy. All right, here comes Snoke. Not horrible. Do no Mud Trooper rerolls, though, because he's dead. Oh, that's not bad at all. That's threatening five, but... All right, Sinister's the two. Gets rid of Omegas. Andrew will put two in. All right. Comes in, hits the two. Andrew will have to control. Yep, only one die forsakens it. All right, here's a drop to re-roll. All right. Oh, man, more damage. All right, Kylo coming in. Yep, taking three. It's a pretty good turn by Mike here. That four will go into Kylo, but it's still four. All right, there's two more. So do you remember there are six health points remaining because of the Bounty Hunter Mask? All right, there's the four. 
power action to go into the special. Mike looks like he's going to claim. The question will be, does he draw the target? Yep, so he's going to claim. He's going to put it into Snoke, try to draw the target. Andrew will bounce it, puts one net into Snoke, and he gets the re-roll. A blank, and then he'll drop to re-roll. And he gets one more. So it was a one damage trade. All right, so now remember, Andrew has a polarity, because that was put on top of his deck by Mike. All right, but Mike's action here, getting us started. It's funny, these guys usually play fast, but this game's been going back and forth a little slower than normal. All right, Commando out. Andrew is out of Forsakens. Oh, oh wait. Oh no, sorry, because one got put back on top. My my mistake. Yeah, one got put back on top. All right, so that is gone. That turns off the Snoke. Another conscript coming down. Mike's just gonna start f flooding the field with dice here, which is what this this deck does very effectively. All right, Ray coming in. There's a two, a blank, and a blank. Back to Mike. All right, power action for one more into Ray. Now that he has an additional health, he's up to 11. So six more now. All right, Andrew puts in the two. Kylo doesn't have any modifiers. There's no modifiers on the table, so... No reason not to just resolve out. All right, here come five dice. Plenty of gun sides. All right, he's looking for a base side to pair. Does not have one. All right, here comes Kylo. Resource and one melee. Mike's pitching a reroll, I assume. Yep, O drops a motive to do it. The saves the plus two, rerolling everything else. Gets the one base. Alright, motive for guns. Misses, that'll help Mike actually, because he has plenty of cards to reroll, which is what he's likely going to do right here. Drops a fickle to do it. That hurts. He likes the fickles. All right. There's another base side and a one focus. All right. There's polarity. Oh, that'll actually keep Ray alive. All right. So there's one into the Mando, and then he'll power action to move the shield over, doing one to the Mando. Mike's going to focus up, I think. He knows, I mean, he knows it's highly likely Andrew doesn't have the control, right? That's why he's didn't remove. And so back to Andrew. Oh, there's a conflicted on Ray's dice. Hits a blank, gives her the two shields. Ray is still alive. That was a nice play. Either way, he was getting value out of it. Commando was going down, or Ray was going to be alive. 
That was a nice play. Yep, so he does it. So he'll take the three and then two net, putting Ray at ten. All right, power action on Ray. He'll go to threaten death on the commando. Oh, there's Entangle. Walk right into it. Yep. That was a big swing. That was a big swing. All right, Andrew will drop to reroll, see what he can get out of it. Oh, that's enough for death. Mike's out of cards, so commando's going down. Claim spins a dollar. So, yep, puts one into the Mando. And takes a shield on Kylo, setting up for the kill. Is there anything that Mike can do to drop Ray? Yeah, act of cruelty. Well, that wouldn't have mattered on the shield, though, right? So. Oh, no, yeah, Andrew screwed up because the Mando power action. Yeah, that was a huge mess on Andrew's part. Yep, there it is. Dead Ray. A move over. Andrew basically had to bank. Do it. He must have been banking on Mike not drawing an upgrade there. Andrew's in trouble now. The riot shield needs one. All right, two for the cross guard, and he'll throw one across the board, which will, of course, pop the riot shield. All right, here comes the Mando. Hits a blank. All right, Andrew's rolling in. That's a good roll right there, but Mike probably has some sort of control. The so cross guard does two or three if there's any shields, but there's none in the place. So we've got a total of six on the board right now. Time to get some guns in, I would think. Just roll in Snoke, right? Yep, so Snoke's coming in with those five dice. Two focus and two focus, or one focus. Yeah, Andrew's in trouble. What's better than damage? Focus, that's correct. Well, when you have damage to focus too. All right, Andrew will resolve melee, so one apiece. Nine health remaining on Snoke, soon to be likely, anyway, five. All right, it's Mike's action. So we are at 20 minutes of gameplay time. I don't think time will be a factor here, but... All right, Riot Shield for one. All right, so that'll... I mean, either way, it's two. So Mike will take two on the shield. No, yeah, yeah, he put one on, but that's not how it works. It's only if it's shield, so just two and then two more. And 
there's the two focus, so I'll go to the two gun, and then likely the two... Oh, he went to gun and gun. I was thinking he was going to go to the two indirect. Oh, Neiman, but can only do upgrade, so... Yep, so that'll get blanked, but then one focus, right? Right back to it. Then Andrew O'Claim put on a shield, going to take the five, three net. Got quite the shootout here. Uh, Steadfasts are done. There's one player, all right, probes for... All right, Neiman and Ata oh, Ataru, that's big. Although Andrew's going to have a hard time getting shields, so maybe not. All right, four health on Andrew's side, seven health on Mike's side. Likely the last round? Uh, maybe not. Right, so Andrew dropped everything he had. He's just drawn a full five here. So he's looking for something in particular. All right, but Andrew will open us up here. All right, Kylo coming in, putting on the pressure. Gets a two and a one, so there's three. All right, rolls in. Oh, that's a Forsaken. Yep, get the two off the board. I mean, it's cl that's clearly a Forsaken play, right? So, what are you gonna do? But what are you gonna do about it? Yep, he'll play it. Takes Kylo. And he takes two resources. Interesting turn. Our A300 down on Snoke. All right, raise for a three. That'll give a shield. Snoke in. This could close it out. Not when you roll like that, though. He does have two gun, though, on the table. It's not bad. He's got plenty of cards for re-rolls. I think Mike Mike's in a good position here. All right. Isolation for one. Takes care of the character die. Michael pitched a re-roll. Takes a resource off the energy bow. I smell fickle. All right, there's an overwrite for cross guard. Throws one across the table. Four health remaining now on each one of these guys. But Mike's still with a clear advantage. Yep, there it is. There's the fickles. All right, it's Andrew's action now. He's just checking Mike's discard. I think Andrew just has to pass. All right, Fickle's coming in. It's discard. All right, pacify Snoke. Yeah, he doesn't want. Okay, yeah, he doesn't want there to be any focus out there. Mike can still reroll multiple times. He's in really good shape here. All right, there's almost everything you needed. It's five, not quite enough, yep, because Andrew can claim and keep off it. So there'll be one health remaining. Mike should really, Mike should roll the fickle. It's his last card, but it's a forsaken, too. That's what Andrew kept looking for through his discard was the forsakens, I'm pretty sure. 
Mike's deciding whether it's it's got to be worth it. Go for the win, right? Yep, there's the five. So three net, one health remaining on Kylo. The Kylo special is going to be super important here. Yep, drops it. He can he can put Andrew down if he rolls it. He does not, right? So there's a discard, gets a dagger mortis, not relevant at this point. All right, definitely the last round here. Mike would be hard pressed not to roll damage. It'll be just a race of who can get it out first. Andrew may end up having to buy Fickle. All right, Kylo coming in to start. That's a good start with Neiman. The question is, can Mike control it? Remember, Neiman's a character and upgrade, so Andrew has lethal on the table across two actions. Now it's to Mike, figuring out how he wants to get out of this. I mean, Mike could roll in, but um, if he misses, he's in trouble. Yep, so Mike's action here. He does have a motive in hand. I think that's what he grabbed, I think. So motiving rays for melee. Misses on it. Alright, Andrew's resolving specials. So go into the, the Kylo Blank for sure. I'll go into special. And then he went to cross guard. So he'll get a reroll in on Kylo. The cross guard, unfortunately, will only hit for two. So there's two on the shield. Rolls in Kylo. Oh, that's probably game. So there's two. That's probably game. So all Mike has to do is just hit damage anywhere. There he's got it. Oh, okay, isolation, but Andrew's still on the back foot, because now Mike has the two focus, so that's going to do it. Andrew won't have two removal cards, so... That's it. All right, Mike takes down the tournament today. Nicely played, sir. If you like what we're doing here on the Dice Commando channel, please show your support with a like and a subscribe. Please remember to keep all comments civil and constructive and to help us continue to grow this amazing community. Thank you for watching Dice Commando. Hey, I'm Nathaniel. Thanks for watching Dice Commando. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the comments. Yeah.